I guess now we find out if dragons can be grateful or not. So what happened to all the people who lived here? Follow the clues, boy. Right, right. Follow the clues. Okay, so there was an evil dwarf king, and he made all these people hunt monsters. The people put them in cages, and then... And then I don't know. Hmm. We are missing a clue. Back inside the castle? No. There is nothing more for us inside. But stay alert for chain dragons, boy. Perhaps you'll uncover more about this dwarf king.
Do not fall this easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. Father, why did the gods cause so much trouble for us? Because that is their nature. But with all that power, you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy. Very well. There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? What? Because the boy had always been a thief, and his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but her ear, that's not right. Brock. Fuck else you need. How come your brother's got half your brand? 
Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that footlicker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise. Only thing to do was put the brand 50-50 down the middle. Guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road! Sorry. Something on your mind, boy? Next. Mate. No, being small, my like guns. That's natural armor. Less to hit. Oh, you make up your mind? Best of luck with all the rampaging. <laughs> now you're talking. Next time, I guess. Want to try another story? It can't be any worse than the last one. Very well. There was the story of a mother crab who scolded her son. She told him he should walk forward in pride, not sideways as he always did. But she's a crab too. He should say, sure, I'll walk forward as soon as you show me how. Yes, he did say that. That was the story. I got it. Have you destroyed the statue? The statue stands no longer, spirit. Then my bond to this realm is severed. And I am off to find the real god of thunder. He will know retribution. My deepest gratitude.
Off he goes. Brave guy. Want to look for Thor on his own. He is a fool. Where does the spirit leave us? An offering to one of the gods. Can we use it? No. But perhaps the dwarves can. One more story. Very well. There is a tale about a woodsman. He asked the trees of the forest for a branch to make a handle for his axe. But instead, the trees gave him a young sapling so they could keep their limbs. The woodsman made his axe, and then he returned and chopped down the oldest trees in the forest. Hmm. Just because trees are old doesn't mean they're smart. through to the mountain. I'm ready. Kavikia! Well, worth a shot. I can't read these either. But they're different from the others. 